Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Batch. And I will show you how to run a batch, batch job using Azure Portal. What is Azure Batch? Azure Batch creates and manages a pool of compute nodes, installs the applications you want to run, and schedules jobs to run on the nodes. Use Azure Batch to run large-scale, parallel, and high-performance computing batch jobs efficiently in Azure. There is no cluster or job scheduler software to install manage or scale. Instead, you use batch APIs and tools, command line scripts, or the Azure portal to configure, manage, and monitor your job. Batch runs the applications that you use on workstations and clusters. It is easy to cloud enable your executable files and scripts to scale out. Batch provides a queue to receive the work that you want to run and executes your applications. Batch processes jobs on demand, not on a predefined schedule, so your customers run jobs in the cloud when they need to. Developers can use Batch as a platform service to build SaaS applications or client applications where large-scale execution is required. For example, build a service with Batch to run a Monte Carlo risk simulation for a financial services company or a service to process many images. There is no additional charge for using Batch. You only pay for the underlying resource consumed such as the virtual missions, storage, and networking. Run parallel workloads. Batch works well with intrinsically parallel workloads. When the applications are executing, they might access some common data, but they do not communicate with other instances of the application. Some ex examples of intrinsically parallel workloads you can bring to batch. VFX and 3D image rendering, image analysis and processing, media transcoding, genetic sequence analysis, optical character recognition, recognition data ingestion, processing and ETL operations, software test execution. Some examples of tightly coupled workloads, finite element analysis, fluid dynamics, multi-node multi air training. Additional batch capabilities. Higher level workload specific capabilities are also available for Azure Batch. Batch supports large-scale rendering workloads with rendering tools including Autodesk Maya, 3ds Max, Arnold, and V-Ray. Our users can install the Do Azure Parallel Art package to easily scale out the execution of our algorithms on batch pools. You can also run batch jobs as part of a larger Azure workflow to transform data managed by tools such as Azure Data Factory. How it works. Here in the diagram show steps in a common batch workflow with the client application or hosted service using batch to run a parallel workflow. Step one, upload input files and the applications to process those files to your Azure storage account. Step two, create a batch pool of compute nodes in your batch account. 
a job to run the workload on the pool and task in the job. Step three, download input files and the applications to batch. Step four, monitor task execution. Step five, upload task output. Step six, download output files. I will log into Azure portal and we will run our first batch job in the Azure portal. I'm in the Azure portal now. I will go to home, go to search. I'll just type batch. Under the services, we see batch accounts. I will click on batch accounts, click on add. I need to create a resource group. I'll say batch resource group. Account name, I'll just say Azure batch. Six to one. Azure batch seven to one. Location East US. Let's go to advanced pool allocation mode batch service. Let's create this batch account. Deployment in progress. Let's just give a couple of minutes. Deployment is complete. Let's go to batch account. This is the overview. Let's go to features. Under features, we can see pools. Let's click on pools. Click on add. I will give a pool ID, just pool one, and just a display name pool. Then image type marketplace, publisher, Microsoft, Windows Server, and offer windows server i will pick 2012 data center small disk configuration none and vm size let's say standard a1 and fixed mode and target dedicated nodes i will say two nodes then resize timer let's say 10 And let's click OK. Now pool created successfully, but this allocation state is still in resizing. It takes a couple of minutes, a few minutes. And while it is creating pool, let's go to jobs, click on add. I will give job ID job one. Let's select this poll one. More none advanced settings more default. Let's click OK. Job created successfully. Let's click on job. Now we will add task. Task one. Display name is optional. I'll just say task one. Then I will add a command, Azure Batch Timeout 90. And max wall clock time unlimited, max task retry count none, retention time seven. Let's submit this task, task created successfully. Let's go to overview, let's go to resource groups batch resource group and then batch account let's check the poll if it is ready so initially batch creates the poll immediately but it takes a few minutes to allocate and start the compute nodes during this time the pools allocation state is resizing and we created job and task while the poll is resizing now, after a few minutes, the state of the pool is steady and the nodes start. So now we will run the job now. Let's go to job.
now we will go to job one then task one let's just refresh it now we can see the task one is running to view the output of a completed task we should select files on node and then select the file i will click on task and then here we can select files on node and here we can check this output file text the file shows standard output of the task the content shows the azure batch environment variables that are set on the node when we create our own batch jobs and tasks we can reference these environment variables in task command lines and in the apps and scripts run by the command lines. If you have any questions or concerns on Azure Batch, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.